Hello gamers, geeks and gays, my name is Sturks, and welcome back to the Outer Wilds. We freaking did it, guys. We did it. We, we reached 200, um, which is absolutely incredible. We did it in like less than a month um, of me uploading regularly, so thank you. I love you old pieces. Um, as a reward, Firewatch starts now, so if you haven't already, and if it's out at the time of watching, it won't be if you're watching this on the first day. But go check out Firewatch. If you like Outer Wilds, you're gonna like that stuff. Um, Outer Wilds today, what's the plan? Good question. I feel like we either need to go to the high energy lab, which is what the original plan was in the last episode before I got sidetracked. Or we continue the sidetrack and we go to the interloper. And I'm not sure which one I want to do yet. So I feel like we're just going to kind of get in um, and I'll see what I feel like. I think we're going to do Ember Twin again. Just because I don't want to know what happened to Poke. I don't want to know. Ignorance is bliss at this point. Right? Surely. Um, because Poke is one of the characters that we've learned about. Poke was responsible for the Black Hole Forge, if I remember correctly. I could be wrong. I could be wrong. I've been known to be incorrect. <gasps> and that deep raspy breath. Um, I noticed that um, actually after watching back the last episode because we suffocated in the last run. Um the first thing we do is take a deep breath, which is actually a really interesting little um, tidbit. And why is it lagging? Why, game? Why are you, why are you lagging? You, you've not done this before. Behave. Behave. Right. Let us get the map up. We're going to go to the Hourglass Twins. I'm committing to it. I'm going to go check out the Ember Twin. I need to get there pretty sharpish because I need to get through that um, bottom chasm. Um, why did I say chasm so? Chasm. Um, we need to get through that kind of pathway from the Sunless City. The Sunken City. Sunless City, Sundered City. It's one of the three. I think it's Sunless City. We need to go via there to get into the um high energy lab apparently according to the signs so we are going to go straight for this little blue beacon we're going to pop our cells down i'm going to go through i know there's other ways into the sunless city i just can't remember them i'm terrible with directions at the best of times i'm sure you can all deal with seeing like a glove i'm sure you guys can cope with seeing the life raft one more time you're gonna see it many more times, because until I learn the other way in, this is this is where we're going. This is how we do it. So back down we go. And I still love I love the difference in cultures between the two Nomai, and I, I've just kind of realised that the lifeboat is a completely different style to the two shuttles that we found so far. Um, you know, those shuttles are very ornate. Almost rustic looking. It's very colourful. Whereas that Nomai life raft is very clinical, very clean. Um, and I don't know if that's because we're... Our Nomai are kind of detached in some way culturally what the deal is. It might be because it's a life raft. You know how our life rafts on ships are a completely different colour to how our usual ships are. Could just be that. Could be nice and simple. Um, but we will maybe find out? I'm not entirely sure. We'll see, guys. Ah, I was about to say I was doing really well with my movement today. Gosh darn it. Alright, we are here. I'm going to yeet myself down here. I'm not even going to bother with the light. Because we know where we're going. It is this way, right? High energy lab, 400 meters this way. So let's follow this. And hopefully this will take us the correct way 
to where we need to be to see more about these time um, experiments that are occurring. Oh, I remember now. Uh, how? How do I get through here? This has got to be a puzzle, right? Do I have to wait for it to get higher and then walk through? Maybe that's what it is? I. We had this problem last time, didn't we? I'm going to try one more time. Yeah, okay. Ugh, let's not do that. Let us wait for this to fill up. Because I've already hurt myself quite a bit. I'm guessing that's what I'm going to have to do. If not, I'm screwed. But we will deal with that when that happens, won't we, everybody? Um, I really want to know. I, I think this is where it's going. I think that this time dilation kind of effect that they found is what leads them to creating the masks and the Ash Twin project. Um, especially seeing as there was, there was another note outside the top of the energy lab um, that mentioned something along the lines of this is now where the Ash Twin project is going to be developed. So if you want to help, come and come and find, you know, come and look, um, come and lend a hand. So I'm guessing that this is where that starts. It has to be, right? There's also some other planets that I feel like we haven't been to yet, and I can't remember which planets we haven't been to. But there's definitely some. There's definitely some. Because there is another explorer that I have to meet. Oh boy, if I'm wrong about this, I am so dead. If I'm wrong about this, I better be right. Otherwise, you guys are getting a, a, a technically a two-run. Ah! Aha! Aha! Oh, sugar! Oh, okay, I was right, but I am hurting now. I need to be so careful. Are you kidding me? Uh. Right, okay. Cool. Mm. Oh my god. In between, you are very quickly becoming my least favorite planet this is stressful ah! this has got to be it right <gasps> oh no 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 Come on. Why would you do this to me? Why? Is this another way up? I'm hoping this is another way up, because otherwise that does not look like it's safe enough to go through. And I, I, I'm on so low health and so low oxygen. Jesus Christ, Sturks, move. Move, move. No, 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 no. No, <laughs> come on. No, please. Please. No. No, 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 no. Why? Why am I suddenly struggling to move? What's going on? This is... No. Well, we're here now. We're here now. So I wonder which of the two is that going to be? Okay. Something to do with warp course.
Don't know what that does. We'll find out, out later. For now, I'm going to close that because it makes me feel safe. Okay, so we've definitely made it. Records show Nomai arriving at the warp receiver on Brittle Hollow very slightly before departing from the White Hall Station. Raimi and I are devising an experiment to test if this is a real phenomenon or simple machine error. Initial things first. Our experiment setup will first pair a small black hole core with a small white hole core to mimic the setup to the white hole station. Hypothesis. It is possible for an object to exit at a white hole before entering the corresponding black hole. In theory, what we want to try to reproduce is a negative amount of time elapsing between something entering the black hole and exiting the white hole at its destination. Okay. So which one are you? Are you Raimi or are you Pi? I'm gonna do science! Right, first of all... Let's remove that scroll. Pop this one in. Raimi, an update. Our experiments here reproduce the anomaly in arrival and departure times, but Pi is unconvinced it's more than an equipment error. I hope to strengthen the effect to render it visible to the unaided eyes. To that end, we decided to try adding more energy. I imagine the Sunless City's energy supply should prove sufficient. All available energy has been rerouted from the city to our experiment. Raimi and I are about to run a new test. Hypothesis confirmed. Hypothesis confirmed. I saw it. Pi saw it. Hypothesis confirmed. This is beyond extraordinary. This changes everything. What a beautiful day for the intersection of abstract theory and practical application. Of note, Yaro requests that we let him know before we reroute energy to the experiment. I'd hate to leave him in the dark. Okay, so... If I... Fire the law. If I launch the scout into there, so I need a white hole and a black hole, right? Ah! Oh! That is funky. That is very slight, but that counts. They did it. Now, I want to know, so there's three corpses here. So one of them must be Raimi, one of them must be Pi. Who's the third? Who is the third and why are they why are they here? There's a fourth. Okay, there's there's multiple. The Southern Observatory is asking if creating a 22 minute interval is possible. That is to have something arrive 22 minutes before it is actually sent through the warp. We've learned the negative interval of time between departure and arrival can be increased by adding more energy to the warp core. Problematically, the energy required to extend the interval increases at an exponential rate. Hypothesis, creating a 22 minute long interval is possible, but we are currently unable to generate the necessary- 22 minutes! That's how long a loop is! I thought it was 24 minutes. Is 22 minutes a loop? We are currently unable to generate the necessary energy. The energy is currently unavailable, you say? You're a gas pie. Raimi and I believe it would be necessary to invent a new method of producing energy. A thrilling but enormous undertaking. 
We would also require advanced warp technology able to handle such energy. We would also likely need an enormous space to fit these proposed new energy and warp technologies together. The only location large enough would be the Ash Twin. Oh, currently unavailable. Current power. I get it now. <laughs> right. Who is who? This is... Why do they need 22 minutes? Why? The Ashwin project will be one of our biggest undertakings, metaphorically and physically. To build it, we need a way to travel quickly between Ashtwin and each location that holds crucial project materials. What if we use warp towers, like the one we have on the White Hole Station, to connect Ashtwin directly to each critical location? There's Clary here as well, so there's Root and Clary. Poke, Root and I can begin work on this immediately in the Black Hole Forge. This will keep us busy. And Yarrow. Okay, so we've got Raimi, Pi, Root, Clary, and Yarrow are all here. Each tower on Ash Twin will warp to a different planet. My gratitude to those who noted my imprecise language. Yes, the sun is not a planet. I believe this has been sufficiently clarified. Kindly stop reminding me. And Phlox. We can design each tower to visually reflect its warp destination. The giant's deep tower, for instance, could resemble a cyclone, and we could model the timber hearth tower after a geyser mountain. It's quite cool. So there is a warp tower for each one, and it's just uh, like which one, uh, which ones are still functioning. I guess that's that's the thing for me that I need to know. Oh, this is the. This is the way back out. Oh, guys. I have got... So many questions. There's some kind of projection stone... There that's missing. So I guess... Are they the warp towers, maybe? So I'm guessing that's where we need to go next. Could be the interloper, don't get me wrong. We've got both the Ash Twins that we need to visit. Well, both of the twins that we need to visit. Where is... So we've got Gabra over there. I feel like there's another explorer that we haven't met yet. Bellspar is somewhere in there. There's Rebek. Okay, that must be... I feel like... Was there another person? I need to go talk to one of the Harthians about what instruments everyone has. Because I feel like... Oh, wow. I feel like I need to know how, like if I've met all the explorers yet or not. So I don't think I, that I actually have. So all these then, these are just big old warp towers. So that we can just kind of jump about the place and transport materials really vast distances, which I think is fascinating. I love that as an idea. And I know we've been here and looked here, but I just want to have a bit of an explore while we have the time. And just kind of appreciate I love the Nomai architecture. I love the colours more than anything, I think. Like the colours really are just awesome. But then again, it raises a point like I like I mentioned. Why is this then? A different colour. You know? Like, why? Is it just purely because it's a life raft? Which is entirely possible. Or is it because they are two different Nomai cultures? I'm not entirely sure. Maybe we'll find out. Maybe we'll find out. Let's have a bit of a look in here, shall we? Oh! Someone's been here? Chert. 
I don't think we've met shirt yet. Clearly, you know, my were making astronomical observations here. They chose an excellent spot. What is the big rotating device for? What was it the Nomai were observing? I would posit there's something special about the orange symbol on that device. HAL and the new astronauts translators tool would be nice to have handy about now. Yes. Yes, it would be nice, wouldn't it? So we've got a scroll. Let's see if I can really quickly speed read this over here. Did we read this? Yes, yeah, so I've read that. Quickly, quick. The quantum moon locator is functioning. We have markers for each of the planets the moon goes. An owner, Burr, I just observed the quantum moon in orbit around Dark Bramble. You have keen eyes, my friend. So this moon travels to a total of five locations, not four. I added a marker for the Dark Bramble. I thought the locator now accounted for all of the Phantom Moon's locations, but sometimes the locator can't tell where the moon is. Perhaps there's a problem with the device? It's also possible there exists a sixth place in the star system to which the Phantom Moon travels. So that's what these are for, then. This is showing us where the Phantom Moon currently is. Which I think is really interesting. Oh my god, what's over here? Is this like a little vantage point? This is cute. I'm still in awe of this game. I just... I can't get enough of it. Everything about this blows me away. Like, there's no one on the Ash Twin. I really need to go to Rebex sometime. I need to go back to everyone and tag their signals. And I've also just real Wait, 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 wait. Change frequency? Okay, so it's one of the Bramble. Oh. There's more. Where was that? Quickly. Get me around here so I can see. Sun, you're in my way. Where is it? What's over there? The white hole? Is it? That's the brittle hollow. Okay, so we, we're gonna have to see some... Oh my god, I've got too many, too many options now to explore. Just let's turn off the UI and let's just enjoy this for a moment. Look how close we are. Oh my god. Why do we need 22 minutes? Why? I'm coming for you. Twenty-two minutes has got to be the loop. I I presume it would be like twenty-four. Don't know why. It's felt like a good number for me. But they were very, very specific. Why do I need that? I mean, it's got to be to do with the masks, but if they're going to send it back in time, why are they sending it back 22 minutes and only 22 minutes? What do they know that I don't? There's too many really good questions here. Why, why do I need 22 minutes? This can't all be for me. You know, there's so many more masks that they had and that they had planned for so many other people. So there's no way this is just for us. There was something they needed 
22 minutes 4 and I can't figure it out because obviously from where we are now there's 22 minutes till the end of you know the universe but how could they predict that were they planning on there being more Nomai alive to try find a way to stop this did something happen to the Nomai which is why they're all dead but it was completely like unpredictable and they were meant to survive. I... Mm, I really don't know. But for now, let's talk to the nice. Hello there, Space Cadet. I hear you're leaving the crater today. If you meet any of the other travellers up there, remind them to take proper care of their instruments, won't you? Okay. There's Chert's drums, Rebeck's banjo, and Gabro's flute, and Feldspar's harmonica, of course, though Feldspar's been missing for a long time. Sometimes it feels like just yesterday they were playing their harmonica around the campfire. So we have drums to listen out for, which could maybe be quite fun to look into. I'm going to weigh up my options for the next episode. There's quite a few different threads that we could follow now, and I don't know which one I want to do more. Um, I'll have a think. I'll have a think, guys. For now, though, guys, thank you all so much for the love and the support. Like I said, we reached 200 subscribers, which is absolutely incredible. I can't wait to see how we're going in another month's time, in another year's time, how many fantastic people can come and share the love. For now, though, guys, I have been Sturx. You guys, you've been incredible. And I'll catch you all later for the next part our adventure.